Thank you, Dana. I am pleased to be here with Senator Dalen Leach and others committed to the advancement of human rights for all of Pennsylvania. Senator Leach deserves great praise for his courage in bringing the issue of marriage equality to the forefront. Should his bill pass the Senate, I will be delighted to support it in the State House. Should anyone else in the State House introduce a similar bill, I will be glad to co-sponsor it. It is, however, my political judgment, after 37 years in the State House and 32 years of public support for various gay rights initiatives, and scores of conversations with fellow legislators, that support for civil unions far exceeds the support that is now present for marriage equality legislation. Support for civil unions today does not preclude support for marriage equality now or in the future. The issue, as I see it, is whether we can grant meaningful rights and recommendations. Whether the issue, as I see, is whether we can now grant meaningful rights in the LGBT community within a reasonable period of time. I am pleased to announce today that at least 41 members of the House Democratic Caucus are co-sponsoring my proposal to bring civil unions for same-sex couples to this Commonwealth. I believe there is a reasonable chance that, with a strong organizational effort, we can enact civil union legislation by the end of 2012. Doing so would require the support of the vast majority of Democrats in the House and Senate and the backing of a substantial number of Republicans in each chamber. This is possible to achieve in a legislature that does not support same-sex marriage at this time because civil unions are not marriage. They are not a form of marriage, they are not a second-class marriage, they are not marriage, period. What they are is a legal arrangement for committed gay and lesbian couples to handle relations with each other, with health care decisions, and joint property, and the outside world. Civil unions do not have the social significance of marriage, and they likely never will. They are, however, an important step forward in the process of according gay and lesbian couples the respect as human beings that all people should have. I am well aware of polls showing support of civil unions at about 60% of the Pennsylvania population, 58% according to the Franklin Marshall College poll in 2009, with 73% support in the southeastern Pennsylvania suburbs, 76% in northeastern Pennsylvania, and 61% in Philadelphia, and 61% statewide, according to Muhlenberg College in 2009. I look forward to working with people around the state who support moving forward in this legislative session for greater human rights for committed couples in the GLBT community. Together, we can make great strides forward.